So after that unsettling interview with uh, the president of the Antigua and Barbuda Amateur Athletic Association, Everton Cornelius, we're going to talk some squash now because Guyana continued their regional dominance of uh, the sport by clinching a fourth consecutive Caribbean Senior Championship crown last Saturday at the Georgetown Club at the National Racquet Center. Playing in front of the home fans, the Guyanese totals 64 points to edge Barbados, who finished second on 60 points, with the Cayman Islands taking third on 54 points. Now, instrumental in Guyana completing its four-peat was Ashley Khalil, as she and Ashley de Groot dominated the women's doubles category, eventually taking gold ahead of the Barbadian pair of Haywood and Suleiman, with scores of 11-3 and 11-9. And uh, we are expecting to talk to Ashley Khalil in a short while. Uh, Ghana, a powerhouse in, in the sport of squash for decades now. And uh, not surprising that they are continuing to add to their long list of successes in the sport. Yeah, okay, so we have her. So let's go right away to her. <laughs> okay, yes. Ashley is now joining us. Ashley Khalil, let me start by congratulating you and your teammates for uh, winning the uh, team title for the Guyanese for the fourth year in a row. How difficult was this one compared to the previous three? Uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, this year, we were quite, uh, the team was similar to the other teams with the girls being a little older and well, the guys, uh, similar lineup as well, but our youngest player just out of juniors playing his last junior caster this year. Um, so, most of the players were actually old to the team, but um, I guess having the support from the home crowd may, made it a lot better for us. Yeah, and talk to us about the home support and the fact that you were playing. I gather that you have a brand new squash facility in Georgetown now. How impressive is that facility and uh, how enjoyable was the experience? Playing in front of the home crowd was incredible. Um, with the coverage from our local uh, network and with the government just uh, f finishing the brand new uh, racket center, which has now five single co single scores and the first double scored. Um, so we were actually able to compete in the on a double score for the first time in a Caribbean championships. Yeah, and for our viewers who may be wondering why Ghana are so dominant in the sport itself. I remember you being a part of the Junior Casa team that had started a sequence of 12 consecutive titles between 2005 and 2017. You were a part of the, the early streak of, of victories. Um, what is it about Ghana and squash that, you know, r really transcends to the success? Um, well, I know we have a very strong junior program where um, we set uh, Saturdays, we put aside strictly for training juniors and then coming up to any Caribbean championships, either senior or junior, we would uh, prepare at least three to four months in advance with uh, six days a week training for our entire team with fitness, racket sessions, um, uh, just endurance running, which is which would include like running in the park. Um, so once we know we're going into competition mode, the training would have we would amp up the training, and even even out of competition mode, we would still have a year-round program for our juniors. Yeah, uh, Ashley, have you always wanted to play squash, and where or when did you recognize that you wanted to do this competitively? Um, <laughs> Funny enough, I used to, I actually started as a badminton player, so I used to play badminton for Guyana first. And then a few of my friends switched over to squash and they asked me to try it out. I tried it out and I, I loved it. And ever since I've never looked back, I actually play more squash than I do badminton now. Yeah. And are you pleased with seeing that you've been in this sport for some time, as Lance, Lance mentioned, you know, um, competing in juniors and now, of course, on the big, big level? Are you pleased with the direction that this sport is heading? Um, yes, I'm very pleased because uh, squash actually, for the first time ever, has just gotten into the LA 2028 Olympics. Um, it's never, so it's now recognized as an Olympic sport. So I think um, a lot of great things are happening now for squash. 
not only in the Caribbean, but worldwide. Yeah, actually, I remember 2022 when you came to Kingston and won the women's single title at the Senior Castle Championship. And I think at the time, you labeled it as the crowning moment of your career, something that you'd always wanted. Two years on, the trajectory of your journey, how do you feel about it and where you are now? Um, so two years ago, yes, I did win my first ever uh, singles title, still up to now the only final that I've been into. Um, with the, with, I think with squash going into the Olympics now, a lot more players are playing professional squash, so the competition is becoming a lot tougher. Um, so for me now, um, for my journey personally, I just need to get back to the strict training schedule and putting in a lot more time on the court. And um, hopefully you could see us in LA 2028. Yeah, and in terms of the, the journey to LA 2028, based on what you've just said, clearly this is something that you are eyeing. What does it look like? How do you get there? Um, right now, I the, the criteria isn't strict as to how we get there, but obviously um, I think right now we'd have to, you'd have to play some amount of professional squash and be ranked. Um, not only in the Caribbean level, but I'm not sure what credits they will give to Caribbean players. And um, the, the full details is not uh, out as yet. Yeah, from that standpoint, but from your own standpoint, is there anything that you can do in terms of your training? Clearly, as you pointed out, competition outside of CASA, because um, if you're going to compete on the Olympic level, um, then, of course, the standard yes, has, to, has to be raised. And then there is the Commonwealth Games as well that you can use as a stepping stone to LA 2028. Definitely. There is um, there's first Caribbeans and then you go on to, well, for the Caribbean players, there would be like the Pan, -Am, Pan American Championships, which actually took, uh, took place just a week before our Caribbean uh, Championships. And then there, there's also um, the CAC Games, the Commonwealth Games, which would all be uh, uh, building up to LA 2028. Yeah. So in terms of, of, of Ashley now and how you raise your own level to ensure that whatever opportunities present themselves, that you will be able to take advantage? Yes. Um, so I would obviously uh, have to be putting in a lot more hours. Uh, thankfully, we have the facilities now, which would be um, which is now open to the public. To, so we can actually put in the hours both in the individuals and in the doubles segment of competition. Yeah, well, actually, we're looking forward to see what happens for LA 2028 because I know the squash fraternity is happy that uh, the sport is finally included in the Olympic Charter. And um, as you just mentioned, we await to see what the qualification process is because we'd like to see some, some Caribbean um, competitors there. Um, congratulations once again on the success. I know you, you had to do it too without your most celebrated squash player, Nicolette Fernandes, who was away in Europe winning her second consecutive World Masters title. Um, so she missed out on it. But the fact is that you were able to get the job done without her. <laughs> yeah? I'm not sure if she heard that. Yeah. But... Um, it was tough without her, but um, it was done. And a uh, huge congratulations to her for winning her second Masters title. Yeah, and Ashley, by the way, you should try tennis. It's a great sport. And you will can... enjoy it more than squash. And you can give and Ricardo badminton. some tips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I think she has a delay, so she's not hearing as we speak. But um, I, I, I understand her liking badminton, as I said on the show recently. I think it's a fabulous sport, uh, but she has had a lot of success with we squash. Lost her. And congratulations once again to the Guyanese in winning the Casa Senior title for the fourth year in a row. And um, they just won the Casa Juniors earlier on in the month as well. So lots going on for squash in Guyana at the moment. Congrats, uh, Ashley Khalil and the rest of your team. We go to break. We'll have a lot more coming up on the Sports Mind Zone after this.